Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the Lost Unite Nightcrawler wheels, rims, and the foams. So, got your wheel here. There are six screws. So mine's not on it, but so mine can just pop out, but that's not how yours is going to be. There's, if it's still in it, there's going to be six. Is there a light over here? No, we need a light. Turn on the light. Oh, that light's broken. Great. Alright, so let's go somewhere where it's a bit brighter. So let's... Walk along here, over here. So we got that car there. This is a Lucy Night Crawler. This is what it looks like. So you're gonna have these six screws right here. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six real screws. All I do is say this. So you find your Allen key. You undo those. You undo the. So you'll take it off the bolt. Take this bolt off with your tool that it gives you. Take that off. Take off that bolt. Take these six screws off. Then you'll flip it around to the back of it. And take those six screws off. And then I suggest getting like a, a wrench or something, like a wrench like this. And when it's on the rim, try and take your wrench and get it like up in that crack up in there. So, because when you undo all, after you undo all these bolts, the six, you want to find a thin side of a wrench. Thin wrench. Oh, we got a thin wrench right here. So you'll take your tiny wrench. And you'll put it up into here, like this. And then you'll just twist. You'll twist it so that it twists and it'll pop it out. And then after that, you'll have your rim out of your tire and you'll have 12 screws. 20, 12 screws. You want to have like a little, say like a little tin, something like that to put your screws in so you don't lose them. And then it'll come apart, you'll have a black piece here a black piece here, this black piece will come off, this black piece will come off, and then it'll be the silver rim. And then you're left with that, those three pieces, and your tire and your foam. So remove your foam. So to remove your foam, you're just gonna kinda try and take the tire be careful if your foams are wet, if they're wet, it will be like squirting water all over. But so you take the foam and you just kind of like pull it out. Don't worry about like doing anything, it's not gonna rub it. Now your foam's out and you just got your tire. Now you can clean your tire or whatever you want to do. You can squeeze the water out of this. Don't if it's really, really dirty, you could rinse it, but I wouldn't. I just squeeze out the water, set it on like a vent, like you have vents in your floor, set it on the vent for. I'd say a day if it's hot, if your vent's blowing hot air, or out in the sun if it's hot out, and leave it like that for a day. They'll dry out. They'll be fine. Your tires, when you wash them and rinse them, these can be washed. You could wash these and everything. Once it's washed, you could set it down to dry. It'll take longer. I'd recommend letting it dry for about a day. And then there's still going to be water inside of the tire in there, so stuff it with paper towels, and that'll keep it dried out. And then to fix, to finish your tire off, you just Take your, take your foam and your tire now that they're dry and it's gonna be a little tough to get it started to go back in there so just want to take the foam kind of gorilla it up into the, the spot on your tire take it push it in don't worry about bending it it's gonna be okay so you just keep it take it push it up in there put it all the way up in there don't leave it like this. You want to make sure you spread it out in there. And see how it's like weird and bumpy? We don't want that. Make sure you clean it up. Make it look a bit flyer. Stretch out the tire. Oh, drop the camera, guys. Stretch out your tire. Make sure that it sits in there nicely. I do this to kind of keep it. So now look at it. It's back in there. There's no, there's no wrinkles. Because there's if there's a wrinkle, say like... Hold up a bit like that. If it was like that and see that wrinkle, you don't want that. You want to press it down. Make sure that most of the tire is flat. See, there's no wrinkle. It's nice and round. And then you take this piece. So these black pieces won't be on there. You push it in. And there's going to be a thin line along here that you're going to put it on. Put that on. Put one screw in. And then just put the rest of them in on front. Flip it around and do the back the same way. So if you that, hopefully that you found that helpful. And if it's not like helpful enough... 
comment down below and I can redo it and show you how to actually do it. So thanks, this has been my video. Bye-bye.